Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show how to install running boards on a 2012 Toyota Tacoma. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so there are the running boards. Comes with all the hardware you're going to need to install it. And my personal favorite, instructions. <laughs> so, let's look underneath and see how we're gonna mount these first we got to set these up and then we're gonna mount those to somewhere stay tuned and find out right here it says we're gonna be setting up four five and six four five and six came with two packages big ones and small ones so these are gonna be the four five and six and I'm already getting them ready here. Four being the washer, five being the lock washer, and six being the bolt. Oh, whoopsie. So I'm doing that, that to all of these. Bolt, lock washer, washer. Set aside. Bolt, lock washer, washer set aside and then it's going to be the same thing here one two and three one two and three so it would be one two and three well, actually i went backwards three two one three two one <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and set up all my screws because as you can see they're all the same way and I'm um, more than likely going to use all of them so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and prep up my screws get them all ready that way we could just go and bolt this down to here I already have them flipped around uh, these I'm guessing are probably going to go right here like that this is gonna mount to the frame of the uh, vehicle but uh I don't want to get too ahead of myself, so let's take it slowly. Uh, first, let's prep all our screws. That way we're ready to rock and roll a lot easier. Sweet. All right, I went ahead and prepped all my screws. And good thing I didn't get ahead of myself, because as you can see, there's two different kinds. There's the single kind, that kind. Then there's the double kind, that kind. So, as instruction goes, this is the eight. That's the eight. So this one's gonna be the first one. And then seven and seven is going to follow. So these two. So let's go ahead and mount that. The way it's gonna go is like that. So this way. Seven and seven, and now my eight is going to require the four, five, and six that bolt onto the frame. Yep, and that bolts onto this. It's gonna be the one, twos, and threes. One, twos, and threes. That goes into the frame. One, twos, and threes. One, twos, and threes. That goes into the frame. There's two, see? It goes into the frame. And here, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Right. Front. So this is the front. Right here. And this is front right. Well, shit, we're on the front right. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I'm guessing on the other side is going to be the positive or the opposite. I'm just going to be over here. It's going to go yada yada. Anyways, let's get started with the first one and then we'll move on. Sweet. Let's get started. So, want to see which ones are the ones that you're going to be using because I had grabbed the wrong ones this angle and it's out like that it was flipped away uh 
on the other end it was flipped around so like so so that's how I knew I had the wrong one so you got to make sure that you do get the correct one that is lined up perfectly this next one will be as you can see that's the incorrect one that's the incorrect one God dang it. there it is that's the correct one see and then this one will be the same thing yep this is the correct one sweet so so the ones for this side and those are for the other side instructions telling you make you break you all right what you're gonna want to do now is come underneath the truck and right next to the fender are gonna be the screws that we're gonna be removing the little plastic screws here and here right here in the center here and here and over here at the rear here and here and that's gonna expose our thread where we're gonna bolt down the metal frame see there it is directly straight to the frame if my phone wants to focus in Jesus makes it worser <laughs> anyways that's why you want to remove these clips there it goes. You're gonna use a screwdriver. These are pretty, pretty loose. But just use a flathead screwdriver to remove those. And that's where we're gonna mount that one right in the middle, right here. So we're gonna move the rear now and the front ones. And that's gonna give us a placement to mount our running boards uh, you could easily just grab each one and mount it this one's over here like so but uh, I already have mine so I'm gonna just pick up the whole bar place it under here put in the screws here slide over put in the screws at the end and then slide over and then put the screws right at the other end so I'll go ahead and show you after I'm done all right here it is everything is still loose though I still got to bolt everything down these I didn't bolt down so everything is still loose just give you a quick look of how it looks down here there's the second one, the one in the middle. There's the first one. And here's the last one, the third one. So now, just gotta melt everything down. I line everything properly the way I want it. And yeah, snap it back into place. Then we gotta do the other side. on these I clean this area up so <laughs> I'm not wearing my shoes so I don't want to dirty my white shoes <laughs> but there it is and that's how you install the running boards so I'll go ahead and bolt it down and do the other side and show you how it looks completed sweet Right there it is both running boards are installed on both sides here's the passenger side and this is the driver's side The truck looks awesome now. 
I just did a video of how to replace the antenna on this truck as well. Catch that video. And there's the running boards. Sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.